an obvious start is to pick up your guests from the airport. Hey, Hi, nice to meet you. Yes. <laughs> right, so our group is all together. I'm going to uh, introduce you very briefly to our sweaty, slightly <laughs> smelly photographers. We've got Kevin, Hi. Nicola, and Anya. And we're all heading off to go and get a drink and a nice shower. Right. Right, come and have something to drink uh, and grab your keys. The first night is at the Gassy Country House, which is just five minutes from the airport. So a very convenient stopover for our first night. Nicolai, looking at the back, and we've got Tujo, our driver, putting everything on the top. So we have loaded carry bags. Right. Early morning start, 5 o'clock. We're now standing outside uh, or somewhere between Antananarivo and Ansirab. Uh, is Tojo, our driver. He's just stopped. We've stopped on the side of the road. We've got a beautiful view out there. Looking around. Good morning, ladies. Everyone had a decent night's sleep, I hope. And. We pass through several towns during the course of the day, watching Malagasy life as it unfolds. From brick building all the way through to a fair, which is set at the side of an election campaign happening so that the children have something to do while the parents listen to the politicians. The streets are extraordinarily narrow, with very little space to pass in between, meaning that going through some towns is extremely slow as market day literally takes over the road. There is a superb openness by the Malagasy people, allowing you to basically meet complete strangers and just see smiling faces. Here we were at the gold panning, an alluvial gold panning area on one of the rivers where there was just complete welcome. Stopped at just before coming down towards the Andrikaso. Now we're just going to relax and have a nice evening. <laughs>